Hello, I'm excited Eden, and I get... SON OF A BITCH! Hello, I'm excited Eden, I get excited about it, so you don't have to. Today we'll be looking at... Super Metroid. On the SNES. In Super Metroid, you take the role of famed intergalactic bounty hunter. In Super Metroid, you take the role of famous bounty hunter Samus Ernst. Samus. Samus Rans. Seamus. You take control of. A badass female bounty hunter who works for the Galactic Federation, and you kill space pirates. It starts off with a flashback of the first two games in the series. Super Metroid is the third game in the series franchise by Nintendo, released in 1991, and you play as. Samus Aaron, who's a bounty hunter, and the Galactic Federation told her to shoot at a biomechanical giant brain in a jar, so she did, and then the planet blew up, and then they told her to go kill all of the aliens that the space pirate aliens were capturing to clone. So, she goes there and she kills all of them except for one that was an egg. And after she killed the queen, Metroid, a baby Metroid hatched and she was like, oh, it's cute and it's eating the blocks that are blocking my way out so I guess I'll take it. So she takes it and then that's it for the second game and then she goes and gives it to a scientist and the scientist is like hey we can cure all disease by using the way that Metroids drain energies and we never thought of this before so it's a good thing you didn't kill them all because this is invaluable and beneficial to all of life in space I, I think he says mankind, but by that point we already know that there's bird people and lizard people and bug people in the world and the universe, so I think by mankind he meant everyone in the universe. So the exposition ends with the game taking place not even an hour, like immediately after Metroid 2 which was a bold move because a lot of people didn't really like Metroid 2 because it was monochrome and on the Game Boy. Excuse me. Because it was monochrome and on the Game Boy. And... So you get to the Space Station series and the Space Dragon that you killed in the first game is there and he's stealing the baby and so you go to the planet that you blew up with the brain jar and you go back and you have to find a lot of power-ups. And it's a good game, and I highly recommend it. Thank you for watching, like, and subscribe to see more videos similar to this one. Thank you.